So there I was waiting around for hours yesterday, expecting an update on both the Wilson rework and the 2023 roadmap for Don't Starve Together, only for Clay to go and update Solo Don't Starve for the third time in just about that many weeks. And yeah, sure, while the list of changes is small and it's mostly bug fixes once again, not only will we be able to pick out a lot of really sneaky changes if we combine said changes with everything else that we've been getting lately, Solo Don't Starve is getting the love that we have been yearning for for many, many years. So then, while it's not exactly what we were hoping for, I do believe we should still have some fun and give a little overview of these tweaks, yes, yes. And while a few of these will have gameplay, as I'm actually quite curious how some of these are gonna work, a lot of the others are just gonna be a brief mention. Say, for example, the first three bullet points for Pete's sake, Shadow Split Monkeys will no longer throw poop as if they needed any other reason to be absolutely terrifying. Homeless frogs will now sleep at night now, which is probably in relation to Frog Rain, just like another recent change that they did for Don't Starve Together along these very same lines. But most importantly of all, Cramp Eye will no longer steal backpacks, but will also not try to follow the player into water. First part amazing, second part just kinda funny at the end of the day. But with bullet point number four comes the real fun, everyone. Pigman Mayors of Swinesbury now has his own unique name. And since I'm doing all this overview before I actually film the footage myself, I don't know what the name is yet, but you can see it right here. To continue though, Fountain of Youths may have got an unintentional buff here because now their water generation time is impacted by long time passes, be it sleeping or coming back from another world via a Seaworthy or Skyworthy. So if we combine this with our pre-existing knowledge of the Fountain of Youth, its water and the quote unquote quote, cheese surrounding it, this is kind of ridiculous, because it's supposed to come back in one day, we usually just bundle it, wait a day, come back, but now we can bundle it, sleep, and then just do it over and over and over again. I hope you know what I'm saying. If not, watch this video right here. But before we move on to the bug fixes, we should note that the Regal Scepter will now float, so we don't have to worry about losing that damn thing anymore, and leaving and entering the world will no longer cancel any vampire attacks on the way. Which I'm surprised isn't a bug fix, but hey, it's here, so don't abuse it anymore. But to wrap up, a few really noteworthy bug fixes and a couple grievances. I have a few worrisome things to air with Clay, I gotta say. The first one being, they fixed being able to light Nightlight with the Fire Staff in all of these DLCs. And that means we can't do it anymore, just like how we can't do it in Don't Starve Together, and I don't like that. I feel like we should have another way to light these things, because that means we might use them more for Pete's sake. Why do we have to waste Nightmare Fuel to do it? But in a similar yet opposite vein, Willow's Lighter will now set mobs on fire as intended, which I like. I might have to use that moving forward in our new Shipwreck series. Fire Packham will now also no longer attack Weber's tamed spiders. And as we know from a previous update, they made it to where Fire Packham just didn't attack a Weber anymore either. So put two and two together, you get five. It's amazing. And lastly, or at least the last few I'm choosing to show you, they fixed hanging vines stealing non-food items. They fixed hanging vines not being affected by world customization so we can turn these really freaking annoying things off. And as a fun last note, they fixed poison dart frogs defending hanging vines because apparently they were horde like to each other, which I never knew about, but that sounds really funny. But folks, there you have it. Yet another beta update hotfix for Solo Don't Starve and all of its DLCs. I know the vast majority have moved on to Don't Starve Together, and you know, perhaps rightfully so, but there is a lot of people out there who still absolutely love these games and are playing them as we speak. But I do hope that both parties can come together and just appreciate how unexpectedly amazing the beginning of 2023 has been for games that we all kind of put on the back burner, am I right? Clay is continuing to surprise us with withholding information that we're all begging for at the moment. And because of that, I am now fully expecting that Clay is gonna finish this beta before they give us any information about what's coming to Don't Stop Together this year. So hold on to your butts, folks. My guess, this is all dropping next week with over 200 changes to Don't Starve Reign of Giants, Don't Starve Itself, Shipwrecked, and Hamlets. It's gonna be bonkers. Thanks for watching. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.